Lang become victims of trafficking. This area here is one of the most poorest areas in the whole of Cambodia, and so it means the girls are more likely to be trafficked, they're more vulnerable. It's just an hour from the city, but in farming communities like these, pay is minimal and opportunities thin on the ground, so many families end up in debt and desperate, making them easy pickings for traffickers. Stacy has arranged to meet Victor, the director of an organization who are trying to break this cycle. Welcome to visit us here. Thank you for nice to meet me. you. Okay. Nice to meet you also. Okay. Victor, please may you tell me what this organization is and why you guys are here and what you do. And we really focus on uh, finding the best way to stop human trafficking before it starts. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. it's done. So it's like preventing the girls yes. to, um, being trafficked yeah. instead of treating them once they have been trafficked. Mm. The organization's aim is to educate and train young girls to give them more opportunities for the future. These kids are particularly at high risk of being trafficked. Yeah. So you see that and so you bring them here to educate them. Yeah. Make the risk a lot lower. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yes, yeah, good. And are these the kids over here? Yes, you want to see them? Shall we? Yes, and okay. Meet them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Victor introduces Stacy to a girl called Pelika, who's thought to be particularly high risk. Oh. I'm a very slow learner, Pelika, so you, you have to bear with me. Your home is far? Long. Long. I've just been introduced to Pelika and she's 13. And her story is her dad was trafficked for labour, so he was, went off to Thailand. And her mum was left behind, she had lots and lots of debts. The dad returned and he died of AIDS. So, you know, it's a really difficult situation and it's that kind of girl in that kind of situation is perfect. It's a perfect target for traffickers to traffic her for sex. Oh! Pelika so invited Stacy home to meet her mum. Stacy the cyclist. Oh no, there's a car. <laughs> Pelika's family borrowed heavily to build this house in the hope of attracting better husbands for their daughters. But with a father dead, they got little hope of ever paying it off. And so the debt just keeps increasing. You're really in debt with the people who built this house. How much do you owe? <laughs> What are your options? Do people ever come and offer things for the girls? ຫຍັງກຶດຖາມໄມ້ງ່າຍມູນມີມັນແນ່ໂຈມໂມໄດ້ໂຈກ້ອງ the, the person that approached you and said, look, we'll give you $250 if you let your daughter come with us. Did they say what your daughter would be doing to get money? What did she say the job was? So was this, was it um, Pelika that they, that they asked for? How does this make you feel, Pilika? How do you feel about everything? And do you feel a bit stressed about your mum's debts? This family were approached by a trafficker.